Warning, this entire video is all just my theories. Nothing that I say in this video should be taken as an official announcement from Pine64. This video really is just my personal wish list to Pine64. Recently on the channel we took a look at Pine64's announcement for the Quartz Pro 64, an extremely capable single board computer that's going to be absolutely stunning. This device will be one of the most powerful Linux capable ARM devices on the market when it launches. With its 8 core CPU, 4 core Mali GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM, this thing is going to be an absolute beast that can probably compete with a lot of traditional x86 devices. And at a price point somewhere north of $300, it's probably going to be a pretty price competitive device that I'm absolutely excited to see benchmarks for. Honestly, all of Pine64's single board computers are extremely capable and price competitive with the likes of the Raspberry Pi, and maybe even low end desktop PCs. So hey, if you've only just learnt that they make single board computers, definitely go and check those out. They are well worth it. But, with that unpaid promotion of Pine64's single board computers out of the way, let's continue on with the video. One of the most interesting aspects of the Quartz Pro 64 is where Pine64 could go from there. For those of you who don't know, Pine64's devices are very often based on their single board computers. For instance, the Pine Phone Pro and Pine Book Pro are both based on the Rock Pro 64, and the Pine Phone and Pine Tab are based on Pine64's A64 single board computers. I know, that's a lot of 64s. Pine64 definitely like their 64 naming convention. Bit like Nintendo during the 90s. But anyway. This leads me to think that Pine64 could make a laptop based on the Quartz Pro 64. This actually seems to be a pretty common theory in the Pine64 community, in fact. I've seen lots of people theorising that there could be a Quartz Pro 64 Pinebook, or even Quartz Pro 64 Pinephone in the future. Now, personally I don't think that there will be a Quartz Pro 64 Pinephone anytime soon. As cool as it'd be, I just don't think that it's possible at the moment due to the size of the Quartz Pro 64. Although, I do obviously hope that Pine64 will surprise me. While I don't think that a Quartz Pro 64 Pine phone will be possible anytime soon, I do think that a Quartz Pro 64 Pine book would be possible. After all, laptops can get pretty big, even up to around 17 inches. Fitting a single board computer into a laptop of that size should surely be fairly easy. In fact, I'd even like to be optimistic and say that I believe that Pine64 could fit the Quartz Pro 64 into a 14 inch case similar to the Pinebook Pro. Although perhaps that's wishful thinking on my part. Perhaps this whole idea is wishful thinking, but as a Pine64 enthusiast I want to believe. I certainly do hope that this is something that Pine64 can achieve. After all, the Quartz Pro 64 is far more powerful than the Pinebook Pro. It has four times the RAM a far faster CPU with two more cores in the Pinebook Pro, and a more powerful GPU. Having all of that in a Linux laptop would be well and truly amazing, and would make for a truly worthy successor to the Pinebook Pro, as well as perhaps the first Linux ARM laptop that could be used by pros with quite high demands. For example, I imagine that video editing programs like Caden Live would run really well on a device like the Quartz Pro 64. I also imagine that art programs like Krita would run great too, though those actually do run great on the Pinebook that we already have as well. I'm not a developer so I'm totally making guesses here, but I imagine that you could even write and compile software on a device like this. Truly, the possibilities are endless. Another thing that I'd have to wonder is how gaming capable this laptop could be, particularly when it comes to emulation. I'm not sure how capable that Mali GPU is, but most of the games that are currently available for ARM Linux aren't super demanding, so I'd definitely be interested to see how it'd work out. I'm guessing we'll probably know once some developers get access to the Quartz Pro 64. Considering games like Exonautic and Super Tuxcart are just slightly outside of the capabilities of the Pinebook Pro, I think that the Quartz Pro 64 should be able to run them pretty easily. So that means that the Quartz Pro 64, as well as any possible laptop that could be based on it, might very well be a capable little open source gaming device. Now, it's time that we get to the video's title. After all, there already are some highly powerful Linux capable ARM laptops on the market. Two in fact, Apple's M1 MacBooks. 
These devices are highly capable, and thanks to Asahi Linux, they now have a port of Linux in the works. And as first impressions have shown, these devices run Linux great. We're really just waiting on GPU drivers. Considering both the M1 Max and most of Pine64's devices use ARM CPUs, it's fair to say that these devices are, at the very least, in the same ballpark. So, how does the M1 compare to the Quartz Pro 64? Well, unsurprisingly, considering this is Apple we're talking about, there's not actually much information about the M1 CPU out there. Apple don't list the specs of the CPU on their site. They kind of just hope that Apple Sheep won't care and buy it anyway. All that we know from Apple is that the M1 has 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty comparable to the Quartz Pro 64's 16 gigabytes of RAM. However, from poking around a little bit online, we can actually find out what the specs of the M1 are, and they're actually fairly similar to the Quartz Pro 64, far more so than you would think anyway. The M1 has 8 CPU cores, much like the Quartz Pro 64, though the M1's cores are clocked quite a bit faster from what I can tell. The M1 also features an 8-core GPU. This GPU actually seems to perform pretty well from what I've seen, and it does have twice the cores of the Quartz Pro 64, meaning that it's some pretty heavy competition. Additionally, the M1 does have some neural engine cores, which the Quartz Pro doesn't have. So all in all, it does seem like the M1 would outperform the Quartz Pro 64, but the two devices are so close that it's absolutely fair to consider them to be within the same ballpark. As a result, Pine64 could absolutely come out with an M1 MacBook killer. And in fact, once Pine64 come out with the Quartz Pro 64 itself, they'll already have a Mac Mini killer. That's not even speculation on my part. This device is going to be seriously awesome. Plus, consider that the M1 MacBook is stupidly expensive, whereas the Quartz Pro 64 is only going to be north of $300. I'm pretty sure that Pine64 could include all of the laptop-specific components and still keep it under the price of a MacBook, which would be absolutely awesome and would provide a cheaper alternative to an M1 MacBook. Now, all of this is completely speculation on my part, so if you think that I'm being unreasonable, do feel free to let me know. But personally, I think it's totally plausible that Pine64 could make a device like this. And I think that it would be really cool, because it would mean that the Linux community would have an answer to Apple's M1. Which is something that Apple users absolutely love to boast about. But with that said, that's it for today's video. What did you think of my Pine64 theory? Let me know in the comments section below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.